Apple television. Could that happen? What will that mean? What are the challenges, the real challenges? I'm going to talk to Peter Kafka about this right now. Uh, I loved the graphic with the old CD yeah, yeah, in the story, that, your old things D story, with the old, uh, the old tele, I have an old television like that, you know, That's very in my old. basement. Very yeah. old. I don't Does know it have iPads anymore. on it? No, it doesn't. There you go. Uh, let's talk about Apple, because this is this right. is the big product that hasn't been announced that people think could be the next There's big a, thing for a Apple. There's a great desire that Apple right. gets into TVs, or at least into the living room. Um, they've put a very sort of cautious toe in there right now with something they're calling Apple TV. Most people wouldn't recognize it as a TV. It's a little box that right. helps you get the internet, or really Apple stuff onto your TV. There's a lot of people who want Apple and believe that Apple will produce an actual TV set, something that looks like a big iPad mm -hmm. or something else. Uh, a lot of analysts think that's going to happen. A lot of reporters think that's going to happen. I don't actually know myself. Uh, but Anthony DiClemente is a Barclays analyst. Uh, yesterday put out a report prognosticating that if we see one, here's what the market could look like for Apple. And it's kind of a split report. He's saying, yeah, they can come out with a cool device right. people might buy. Uh, the real question is what's going to be inside the device in terms of programming, and that's, and he's really a media analyst, I cover media, and I, I think we've come to the same conclusion, which is it's going to be very hard for Apple to sort of break up the existing cable TV monopoly that forces you to pay 50 to $100 for a suite of TV that you probably don't want. And why? Why is it going to be so difficult to do that? Because I would think a lot, of, a lot of customers... Yes, they would. Yes, would want that. There, here's the thing. A lot of customers say they want that, mm -hmm. and a lot of customers say, yeah, I'm really even willing to sort of consider giving up cable, but they're not giving up cable. They're paying for cable year after year after year. Even though we hear about cord cutting, right. there's no real numerical evidence that shows it's happening. So you had, end up with the pro, uh, TV programmers and the uh, cable TV providers, the Comcast of the world, making a ton of money year after year. They have zero reason to break that open at Apple's behest. Mm -hmm. Now, does it happen? I mean, you're right. There's not a lot of cord cutting right now because it is still kind of difficult to do that and yep. see everything you want. But that is changing, right? I mean, does does that sort of change on the sidelines and then Apple comes along with this product that just pushes it into the mainstream and again Apple does this thing where they change the yep. entire market overnight? Could happen. A lot of people are trying to break that break that cable TV stronghold and it's really pretty difficult for mainstream consumers to get most of what they're using to, most of what they're used to watching right. on TV via the internet. You can cobble together through some legal services. If you want to steal stuff, you can get it that way. But for yeah. regular people who just want to sit back and watch TV, it's not a mainstream experience right now. Maybe it will become that one day. Um, if you look at what Apple did in music back in 2003, mm -hmm. so long ago, they got the uh, music labels to break up their bundle to right. start selling, uh, start selling albums instead of albums, right? As singles, right? And that really sort of hastened the music industry's yeah. decline. But the reason they were able to do that is because the music industry was already getting hammered by Napster right. and illegal file sharing. If TV ends up in a similar predicament, yeah, they'll cut a deal with Apple, but right now they're not there. Right now they're not there. So we, this is still rumored. We don't think we're going to get one this year, right? Well, there are a lot of smart people saying it's absolutely coming this year. I think yeah. Gene Munster, the Apple bull, was saying it's coming this year. It's still not even halfway through, so it could yeah. show up. Uh, and there's constant rumors. But I'm not even convinced that Apple really needs to be in the $1,000 TV set business. That's a very expensive product for most mainstream people to buy, traditionally low margin. Yeah.